In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to use find and replace in Google Docs. So if you've just finished a very long Google Doc and you've only just now realized that you've repeatedly misspelled a name or completely used the wrong word for something many times in your document or anything else like that, you don't have to read through it and manually fix the same mistake over and over again. You can actually use find and replace to automatically replace a certain word with a different word every time it appears in your document. All you have to do is click on edit in the Google Docs menu up here, and then in this menu that appears, click find and replace down the bottom. And now in this box that appears, you'll need to type the word that you want to replace in the find box. So in this example, if you wanted to replace the word apples with the word oranges every time apples is mentioned in this document, you would type apples in the find box and then type oranges in the replace with box. So let me do that now. Apples here and oranges here. So we've typed that. And as you can see, if we drag this box out of the way, it's now highlighted every time the word apples appears in the document. So it's highlighted here, highlighted here, highlighted here, and so on. So if you're happy with that and you want to go ahead and replace all of these words with oranges, you can click the replace all button here and that will replace all of them. But you do have to be careful with capital letters because by default, it doesn't care about capital letters. So if you type oranges with a lowercase o in the replace with box, as Timmy did here, it would replace apples with a capital A and apples with a lowercase a, all with oranges with a lowercase o. So it would have oranges with a lowercase o up here where there was an apples with a capital A, which wouldn't be great. So if you've used capital letters on some of the words and not on others, like Timmy has here, you want to tick this box that says match case, and then you can do it once with lowercase words. So we've got lowercase apples and lowercase oranges, and then go ahead and click replace all here. And now it's replaced all the lowercase words apples with oranges. And now you can do it again for the words with capital letters. So you would change that to capital A and that to capital O. And now if you click replace all again, it will do those ones. And that's all there is to it. You're done. Now you can close this box. And if you read through your document, you'll see every time it used to say apples, it now says oranges or whatever word you're replacing with any other word. But one last thing to me wants to show you, if you don't want to replace every occurrence of the word and you have to do it manually, you can actually still use this tool to speed up the process. If you click on the edit button up here and click on find and replace again to bring up find and replace, let's go with a different example. This time maybe we'll go replace Timmy with Edward. If you didn't want to replace every one of these words, you could click on the previous and next buttons and tell this tool which words you do want to replace. So you can see this is the first instance of Timmy and it's highlighted in a darker green than the others. So if we wanted to replace this word with Edward, we would click replace, not replace all, because that does what we did before, where it replaces all of them. But if we click replace, now that instance of Timmy has been replaced with Edward, but all the others have not. So if you only wanted to replace a few words like that, this can be easier than manually typing in the different word every time you find it. So. We can use these previous and next buttons to scroll. So if we click next, you'll see it highlights the next word, but maybe we don't want to replace this one. So we'll click next again. And maybe we do want to replace this one, 
So we'll click replace here and you can just scroll through like that and manually replace specific words quite quickly and easily. So that's all there is to using find and replace in Google Docs. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you want more Google Docs tutorials like this, you'll find them all in a playlist here.